Team, do you copy? What's the situation on the field? Over. <laughs> Don't jinx yourself now, buddy. Optimal weather conditions will make the mission easier for you and me both. Over. Keep your guard up! If my sources are accurate, I'm like... 90% confident we'll find something in this place. What do you mean you're done funding the club? The OHSIC is an incredibly important resource for students to explore their spirituality, their heritage, their culture! Listen, Mr. Potts, I fold enough strings letting you have the club for so long in the first place, but I can't defend you when we're not seeing results. You still have a freaking anime club! All they do is watch movies and spend money on imported snacks! That's gotta be violating some kind of rule about appropriating funds or something! First of all, it's the Japanese Culture and Heritage Club. Secondly, they actually retain regular members, as do many other clubs. If you can't engage with the students of this university, you're not really providing anything of value. Space is a premium, too. You know that everyone on campus is going gaga for that newly proposed juggling club. And they'd appreciate a room that's barely being used as it is. The juggling club? The juggling club! You can't do that to us! Gotta be another way! Please! What do you need us to do to save the club? All you need is a few more members. It doesn't matter how you do it, as long as you can show us that the OSICO is still relevant to the student body. OHSIC! <sighs> mm-hmm. Yes, that. Okay, okay, here's the plan. You know that old house way out there on the corner of town? That old Gallagher place where all those deaths and murders happened ages ago? We've never checked it out! We thought it was too boring, too vanilla. But no! Maybe we made a mistake trying to find new things when we've left the biggest stone in town unturned. Tomorrow, we're gonna investigate the old dump. I just know there's something we can find in there. It's our last hope. Vice Prez, tonight we're hitting the books. Research like your life depends on it.
Uh, status? You've been a little quiet. Over. Don't get cold feet now, buddy. We need you now more than ever. You've dealt with the paranormal before, and you've rocked their world. Are you worried about your lines? Sorry, no can do. You've got to look the part for when you fall into the cold, dead arms of Elias Gallagher. Over. How's the rose? Then go for it, buddy. You're about to change our lives. Shoot. I don't really know if they did, or why you're asking me that. G -g -g Ghost clown. Why would you even suggest such a thing? I don't want to think about it. Quit stalling and start the mission already. How's it looking in there, bud? Is your sixth sense tingling? That's reasonable. I think it's time to summon a ghost then. Uh, this is my cue to throw tomatoes at the stage, right? Heh, 
<laughs> all right, all right. Keep up the good work then, buddy old pal. Truly a riveting performance. 10 out of 10, Oscar worthy, or whatever. over there. Fresh blood in my esteemed estate. Stained on a red rose, no less. A tragic sight, indeed. But not quite so tragic as the one who stands before me. Pray tell. Who are you? And what is your purpose here? Bud? Hey, bud. What's going on over there? Dear, you and I are not at all dissimilar indeed. I am well acquainted with tragedy, and know that your wounds need tending to at once. Tell me, would you like to forget the cur who broke your heart? Nonsense, my dear. I can melt away your anxiety and regrets, for it is within my power as long as you remain inside these four walls. Now, will you accept this rose, darling? Wonderful, darling. Now even death won't do us part.
Oh, God! I've tried to, like, 50 times already since the call dropped! What the hell happened?! Are you still in the mansion? now describe your location Wait, a bedroom? Huh, maybe the door was locked and nobody got in? This place is a known party hub after all. Maybe the co-eds and whoever else wrecked everything they could reach, but they just couldn't get into here. What's up? You're kidding, right? Ugh, yeah, all right, you're right. Let's play 20 questions to catch you up to speed here. You're really asking me? Ugh, sorry. You're on a field mission to investigate Gallagher Mansion, so we can find evidence that ghosts exist, therefore proving that the OHSIC still has value to Zephyr University Student Union. Besides finding a ghost, we're also looking to see if we can figure out where that old Gallagher fortune might be. Treasure hunting isn't our primary goal, but it's worth keeping an eye out for. The newspaper clippings we found always said how huge the inheritance was, but some assets were never accounted for in the banks. Rumor has it that the Gallaghers kept part of the fortune somewhere in the estate. The Gallaghers were a well-off military family from Europe who came to America in the mid-1800s. Archibald Gallagher, the patriarch of the family, found success as a cornmeal baron. He married a woman named Mildred, and together they had a total of seven children. All of the Gallaghers were quite exceptional, except for... Elias was the black sheep of the family. All of his other siblings were born strong and healthy, but Elias's birth came with a lot of complications.
pretty much the epitome of the sickly Victorian child trope. A lot of rumors say it was some kind of curse, but no one can agree on why they were cursed to begin with. The eldest child died first in a horse accident or something. After that, it was a chain of freak accidents in short succession, completely unrelated to the previous deaths. But without fail, it would always kill the next eldest child like a line of dominoes, hitting the rest of them in some pretty gruesome ways. I think Archibald and Mildred Gallagher weren't too happy about having to write Elias down as their sole heir once the others were gone, but somehow he'd managed to dodge the curse. Then, not long after amending the will, the parents drowned in a bridge collapse on what was supposed to be a leisurely carriage ride. Same energy as scented candles setting fire to your apartment. There was, still is, plenty of speculation about Elias spinning elaborate murder schemes to take down his family. But the thing is, Elias had few people to write letters to, and even fewer people who'd write back. Elias became a permanent shut-in after becoming the head of the Gallagher estate. Eh, I'd probably do that too if it happened to me. That would be Violet and Gerard Dupont. Gerard was the Gallagher groundskeeper, and after the rest of the family died, he decided to get a little ambitious. Don't think that guy was gay, though. Otherwise, I imagine he would have gone after Elias himself. So he introduced his sister Violet to Elias as a fellow heiress without a partner. You can guess what happened next, right? Everything but the wedding, yes. According to the newspapers we dug up, Elias died the night before his wedding ceremony while the Duponts were caught red-handed tearing the place apart, looking for the Gallagher fortune. Uh, <laughs> uh, I, I, uh, that's because the last mission I sent you on wasn't a real thing. That was a fake paranormal incident. Hey, after we posted your reactions on the internet, we did get some new members. Of course, bud. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hold your horses! Aren't you feeling lightheaded or dizzy or anything? You know, I've been trying to reach you for two hours! Were you even aware you've been gone that long? Maybe you had, like, a concussion or something. I kept hearing that guy's voice and a rush of air. So, was it really Elias? No, of course not. So you really did see THE Elias Gallagher? Okay, I'm coming in. We have to get you out of there.
O-H-S-I-C. It's a tactical retreat! I was kind of prepared to find a ghost, but not for you to go MIA for two whole hours! So, if that ghost had the power to put you to sleep, he must be a lot stronger than we anticipated. You two just met! That, that's rushing into things! Yeah, okay. Look, I'm still coming in to give you a hand. I trust that guy about as far as I can throw him. Which isn't very far, well, considering, you know, he's a ghost. No, no, no! You stay right there! We have no idea what that dude's up to! Okay, then. I'll stay put for now. But if we're gonna do this, then you need to give me a status report. really has returned to its full glory. Is it because of Elias? If it's not freezing in there anymore, that has to mean something. I think you've really awakened him. Your presence has given him something he hasn't had in forever. I think this house conforms to his spectral energy. You've made him happy. You've satisfied part of his wish for romance, but I... Mm. I, I want you to be very careful about how that wish gets entirely fulfilled, okay?
Oh, my dearest, oh, wait there. Please, my dear, you mustn't wander around. Things remain out of sorts. And here I thought I had been quiet so as to not disturb your slumber. Sincerest apologies for rousing you from your rest. And yet, that changes little about the unreadiness of this manor. After all, I have to do all this cleaning myself. Simply look at the state of this study. Oh, it's so far gone from its glory days. Didn't you say it was pristine? Just wait, and be amazed. I will have to find new staff quite soon. Sadly, they did not stay with me as I left my body behind. Oh, if only they had. On the contrary, arrangements must be made with all haste. Our wedding, of course. Your heart. I can hear its soft, gentle tears fall upon your soul. I promise you, my dearest, that a heart does not heal easily. No matter how many tales of tragedy and hardship one may read, reality is much more painful. Why, my own heart has been broken more than a dozen times over the course of my life. And alas, it has never once healed only turn to an aching skull. And I have tried my damnedest to ignore these wounds, to let them bleed out and coagulate into some semblance of strength, but it left me sickly instead. If a heart is to be mended, surgery must be immediate. And here before you is someone who can mend your broken heart, someone who can cherish you, stay with you, create happiness for you. I never had that chance in my own mortal life. And after so long, my dearest, I want you to choose happiness, not sorrow. And I want to be the one to give you that happiness. Whatever you do, do not trust him at all. But also, don't do anything to upset him. Play it as cool as possible. Elias gave you a very thin rope to walk. Don't fall down. Do you understand? Yes, 
Yes, we shall do that. But I cannot wait forever either. The taste of eternity I've already supped upon is nigh unbearable. Join your groom in helping him plan our wedding. Let me think. Ah, I'd love your assistance with the floral arrangements. I have all the flowers of New England in my hands. It shall be difficult to select only a few. Of course! And after that, a cake. I know my grandmother's recipes are still in this house, and I should set off on finding them. I've tasted them all when I was still in the flesh, and they're delightful. As such, I leave the choice of cake to you. And finally, since you'll be marrying into my distinguished family, I'm eager to bestow upon you a gift suitable of that prestige. I shall lead you to my treasury and introduce you to the family jewels. Precisely! Let us begin. Take my hand, and I'll lead you to the greenhouse. <laughs> 